do a poll at the end of every season to see you know what shows students are interested in putting out on the field and the girl boss show was one of the highest rated The arrangement for Crazy in Love we thought was great, really enjoyed. Uh, everyone wanted to do Levitating by uh, Dua Lipa. And then uh, when Tina Turner passed, uh, we decided to, we originally had a chart by a different artist, but we decided when that happened, like, you gotta pay tribute to one of like the OG girl bosses with Tina Turner. So then we got Proud Mary out there. So have three days a week about two hours a day to rehearse this so having like a whole week of all day rehearsals and getting like locked in with the fundamentals and all the music and the drill like is really vital for getting everybody yeah just kind of into the culture and getting into like what it's going to be like to learn drill super fast and yeah just have a good time doing it too when we start learning uh, something like our girl boss show you know having band camp is really uh, really helpful for that given we have all this time in the day that we can we can take to go set by set, really grind things out and figure out what we need to do. The individual student really is paramount. I mean, uh, the organization is not successful without the individual student or the work they put into play. So each student shows up, you know, they check attendance, they work on marching fundamentals, they work in music sectionals, then in concert arts we do full music rehearsal, and then we do drill learning, then we do drill review, and then we put music all together with it. Um, and that's each individual student working together as part of a bigger team uh, in order to make a marching show happen. But yeah, if, if the individual student wasn't bought into what we were doing, the quality of what you see on the field would not be great. And the quality on the field is great because the individual students are bought in, working hard, and doing a really great job. You know, we spent all of leadership camp, we spent all of band camp, you know, as upperclassmen and section leaders, uh, trying to get the underclassmen integrated into the culture. But my hope is that, you know, uh, that this doesn't become our marching band uh, by the end of the season. It becomes the freshmen's marching band, you know, it becomes the underclassmen's marching band, and that they can really drive the culture because really at the end of the day, uh, we're one big family, and we're going to need them to drive the culture and set the standard for what it's going to be. So I'm really excited to present this Girl Boss show that we've got. It's got a lot of really great music, a lot of stuff people are going to recognize and really enjoy from the stands. And I think you'll really enjoy the drill, too. I think um, the common fan doesn't, doesn't notice what we're doing and what we're making as much, but I think it'll really, it'll really show out this week. It's been a great camp. Can't wait to get this first ball game underway, and uh, go Redbirds. Fans, let's welcome back to the field the 2023 Big Red Marching Machine! Our first show of the 2023 season is our Girl Boss Show, dedicated to all the women out there that rock. We will open with the 2003 hit Crazy in Love by Beyonce, followed by the 2020 smash hit Levitating by Dua Lipa. And to close, we will pay tribute to one of the OG women in music, Tina Turner, as the Big Red Marching Machine closes with Proud Mary.